protocol, right? Which is basically a ledger. Meaning, if you want to send money from the United States to, over, to overseas, Nigeria or wherever, a different country, well, you go to your bank, you say, oh, I want to send it over here, blah, blah, blah. And then basically what they do is they use the SWIFT protocol, which is basically like a, basically a ledger. They just update the ledger to say, this money is going from this account to over this account. And it moves on the ledger first. That takes, you know, 10 to 30 minutes. And then you're like, oh, great, they got the money. Wrong. This is how slow this shit is. The money doesn't get over there overseas into the account for like till three or four days later. But that, that's what we've been using all these years, the SWIFT protocol network. That is, that's boring. You know what XRP does? XRP's technology allows you to send it over, overseas across in about four seconds. It is the banker's coin. It is probably going to either compete very heavily or absolutely replace the SWIFT protocol. There's already a bunch of banks using XRP as and, and Ripple's technology, because that's who owns the XRP technology, Ripple. All right. There's already a lot of banks using that. A lot of, they don't want to tell you this is all hush. This is all shh. Sh- sh- I'm I gotta talk to y'all. Let me show you. There's a there's a hunt, there's already a hundred top hundred banks in Ripple. Top 100 banks in Ripple by market cap in the billions. Look, shh, shh, don't tell nobody. This is XRP and Ripple. Look at these banks already using it. Look, Mitsubishi Financial Group, JP Morgan, HSBC from the United Kingdom, Bank of America, Citigroup, they're, they're already using Ripple's technology. Shh, shh, don't nobody. Gary Gensler. And the SEC, they want you to think that this is a security and this is bad. Let me tell you what's really happened. This is this is a damn dog and pony show is what it is. XRP is not a security. What XRP does is threaten the U.S. dollar because of its power. When technology moves and it threatens the U.S. dollar, people are going to slow it down for sure. Do not be fooled. The top banks, many of them are already using this technology. They're all overseas using it. The people over here in the United States is just blind thinking like, oh, man, XRP. I own a ridiculous amount of XRP. If you don't believe that XRP is something special, let's put it to the test. Let's put this to the test. And I'm doing this in front of everybody. That means I'm either going to sound really, really smart here. Or I'm gonna sound like a complete damn idiot. I'm. I'm. Let's see. I'm willing to humiliate myself if I'm wrong. I'm. I, y'all can tell me. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna say it to you again. I'm either gonna seem like a complete genius here, <laughs> or I'm gonna sound like a complete idiot. Let's let's find out together. Be honest with me, y'all. Okay. Don't 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 put no battery in my back. If I if this sounds silly, just just tell me. Okay. <clears throat> I'm flipping my camera around. XRP right now is in a court case with the SEC, okay? This is XRP, y'all, if you're wondering. It's in a court case with the XRP and they're, they're battling to see if it's a security, okay? Right now, XRP has a $34 billion market cap. It's the sixth largest crypto on the face of the earth. I wanna remind everybody there's over 19,000 cryptos. XRP is number six, <laughs> okay? But I'm, I'm still going. Okay, right now, I don't sound like an idiot now, but just let's just see if I, I, I could sound like one. Okay, this right here, this is Solana. So I'm gonna open Solana up. I'm gonna open Terra Luna up. I'm gonna open Cardano up. Okay, why am I doing that? Because XRP's market cap is 34 billion. Solana's is 33. Terra Luna's is 32. And Cardano's is 30. They're pretty much in the same boat. These they are sitting, they're in the same bunk bed, kicking each other, right? To get off me, get off me, right? They're in the same bunk bed. So let's let's see, let's see what why am I showing you that? Because if you look at Solana and you look at click on market, look at this. You can buy Solana on FTX US in the United States. You can buy it on Binance US. Look at all these platforms, Kraken, you can buy it on Coinbase, that's Solana. Y'all see that? You basically can buy Solana on all the major US exchanges. 
No doubt about that. We've seen that. Let's look at Terra Luna. Let's click on market. And where can we actually grab Terra Luna at? Um, so, same thing. Here, look at this. You can buy it on all the Huobi, Bitcoin, uh, KuCoin, Binance, right? Gate.io, Bitfinex, and stuff like that. And remember, there's FTX down there. Gemini. Wow. More big U.S. exchanges. Let's. Where can we buy Cardano, though? Let's see with Cardano. <clears throat> Let's see. Coinbase Exchange, wow. Okay, uh, Huobi, Kraken, Binance US, <laughs> right? Bitfinex, y'all seeing all of this stuff right here? Pretty much a bit Kraken, a lot of big US exchanges you can grab Cardano on. Where are you going with this, Calvin? I'm gonna show you where I'm going. Let's click on XRP. Let's click on Market. Ladies and gentlemen, you will not see FTX US. You will not see Binance US. You will not see Coinbase on here. You cannot buy XRP on any of the major US exchanges at all. If you haven't put this together yet, let me bring it home for you. This is in a court case with the SEC and it is sitting at the number six spot and it cannot be traded on any of the U.S. exchanges. Yet, Solana, Terra Luna, and Cardano, which all have market caps that are similar to XRPs, you can buy all of these things on major U.S. exchanges. What do you think is gonna happen with XRP when it comes out of that SEC court case and you can get by it and it gets listed on US exchanges. Do you think it's gonna be sitting at 71 cents? And do you think it's gonna be sitting here rubbing elbows with these clowns right here at $34 billion? That, do you think so? I wanna, um, this is your opportunity to tell me if I sound like a genius a little bit, maybe not genius, but if this is smart information or if I sound like a complete idiot and a clown. Let me tell you something right now. I just showed you that there's many of the top banks already using the technology that XRP provides and it is being suppressed right now. You cannot buy it on U.S. exchanges yet out of 19,000 cryptos, it is still sitting at number six above Solana, Terra Luna, and Cardano to which you can buy all of those on US exchanges. What do you think is going to happen with XRP when it is listed back on the US exchanges? You're probably going to, this thing is probably going to shoot to a 70, 80 billion dollar market cap. You're probably going to be seeing... <laughs> Man, this thing can shoot up to a hundred, two hundred billion dollar market cap. XRP is going to the moon. Where's your rocket ship emojis at? I see them down there. Rocket ship emojis is what I'm trying to tell you. That either makes sense to you or not. I'm telling you, there's a lot of financial. Look, let me let me show you something. Because in case y'all think I'm making this stuff up, because I got I got I got to have some credibility here. In case some of y'all say you kind of sound a little bit like a clown. I'm just keeping it real, buddy. You sound like... <laughs> All right, let's see here. Solana. Watch this. Solana Financial Backing Institutions. Watch this. Look at this right here. Solana. Investor profile. Solana's gained popularity amongst institutional investors. If you don't know what institutional investors means, it is not talking about retail investors. A retail investor, that's people like me, and you, you know, with like a million dollars or less. Retail investor, you know, $5 million. You got $5 million or less and you put it in the market. You are a retail investor. Institutional money, you wanna know what that means? That means billions. Hundreds of millions and billions of dollars. That's what it means to be an institutional investor. Solana. Let me go back over here and show you something because I've already done my homework. That's why I know how to you know, freak this information. Solana has a bunch of institutional backing. The market cap that is 33 billions of dollars. 
That is backed by institutional money. XRP is backed by re a bunch of retail investments. It is sitting at $34 billion and it is not backed by institutionals. It's backed by a bunch of retailers. Where do you think this is going when it is listed on the exchanges? Some of y'all want to buy some of this right now. You don't know that the only place you can buy it right now is like KuCoin or Uphold. What do you think is going to happen when you can just literally buy it on your freaking phone on Coinbase or Binance US or FTX US? So next time you watch that Steph Curry commercial and he's sitting there talking to you about, you know, do you do know Steph Curry? Whatever? Those commercials, you're going to be able to buy XRP on FTX. Coinbase, that shit is going to the moon. Rocket ship for sure. Now, you don't have to believe me, but I'm just a guy who does my research. I have a lot of common sense for sure. And I'm telling you, if it's sitting at number six and it's being suppressed, by being in a court case with the SEC, you might want to think again about what that's what's going to happen when it is done with that court case. I'm keeping it real. Some people are going to miss that one. I own a lot of Solana. I mean, a lot of XRP, y'all. When I say a lot, I don't mean like 18. I own like the 18,000. It's not a lot. It's not. It's only like 18,000. All right. Uh, Calvin Weeble. I heard Weeble is...